use this. So we'll go on and read. He is our Acharji, and we studied in the Ashram. He taught us all the scriptures. And today, for this mandatory uh, function, he has come to bless all the students. So we have to the 45 days of Vedanta course. When I was telling Swamiji, Swamiji commented, after you torture them for 45 days, I will come and bless them <laughs> and make them happy. That's what he said. And here is Swamiji and Mistress, and I request Swamiji to bless us. श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर् ब्रह्मा गुरुर् विष्णु गुरुर् देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्मै श्री गुरवे नम तस्मै श्री गुरवे नम लास्ट बेंचर्स कैन हियर यस और नो Moving the tongue is easier than moving the head. <laughs> tongue is heavier or the head is heavier. There are two types of knowledges. One type of knowledge is that which demands follow-up action. Everybody is able to hear? Yes. Uh, increase the volume. He is telling me from there, so I have to get up. Better? Increase more. It doesn't cost. Okay? Yeah. Uh, now it is better. And you sit there only. <coughs> so, there are two types of knowledges. And uh, one type of knowledge is that which demands follow-up action. See? But that follow-up action should be done intelligently, not in a dumb way. There was a fat person. He went to the doctor. And, uh, doctor, please tell me what I have to do. I have to reduce my weight. I am putting a lot of weight. Please help me. So, doctor said, you have to run uh, 8 miles per day and meet me again, come back uh, after 30 days. 
I guarantee your weight will be reduced. And after 30 days, he called the doctor. So the doctor said, how are you? Now my weight is reduced, but there is one more problem which came up now. What is that? I am 240 miles away from my house. <laughs> Eight miles per day, 30 days. This is exactly what happens when the students study Vedanta and then the frustration begins. I know everything, but the but never goes away. See? So, knowledge which is followed by action but must be followed by intelligent action, not dumb way. See? Like normally you must have heard, I am not the body, I am not the mind, I am not the intellect. See? It is uh, default settings, I am not the body, I am not the mind. Not the mind. What you understood? I am not that body, but this body I am. <laughs> See? I understood. I am not the but that body I am not. This time. See, friends. Therefore, the knowledge which demands follow up action falls in the purview of upasana. Upasana means upa means near. Asana sitting. That which takes you nearer to your goal is upasana. Upasana is action oriented and devotion is never done. See, devotion is not an act. Devotion is an experience. Devotion or love. See, where devotion or love becomes action, what is the result? And when devotion or love is a noun, it is no more a verb. Then what is the impact of that? See? Like the other day, one young boy and girl came to meet me in Mumbai. Both of them came. I said, hey, why you have come to me? I have not asked you to come. Swamiji, so, uh, we want your blessings. I said, go to my website and download, they are free. <laughs> you don't require any permission. No, uh, actually, we have fallen in love with each other, they said. So, I responded, <laughs> you got hurt? <laughs> because when you fall, you get hurt, is it not? Yes. <laughs> and when the hurt leads to an accident, it is called marriage. <laughs> See? So, Swamiji, please bless us. So, when the love or devotion is an action, we fall in that. And when we fall, we get hurt. See? But when the devotion or love is a noun, See? Like the mother has love for the child. See the difference? When you mothers, for the first time when you are carrying the burden, <coughs> is only a burden, what else? <coughs> so that time, your um, people, elderly people, must have told you 101 things. Don't do this, don't do that, don't eat it, don't eat it, oh, all kinds of things. Has anybody ever told you, love your child? Mm -hmm. See? Because love between the mother and the child is not an action. It is an experience. See? And Anirvachaniya Prema Swarupam, Narad Bhakti Sutra. Prema Swarupam. The nature of love or devotion is Anirvachaniyam. It cannot be defined 
in any language by any parameter anirvachaniya it can be anything i'll tell you one anything love what it means there is to be one lady from himachal pradesh and uh, she had a child baby and that girl may be about 3 years or 4 years like that could you imagine what the mother was addressing her daughter ji mera pyara bengan ka bharta and he is to hug her you can imagine the smash uh, bengan that is her love for the child and she is to hold and kiss her mera pyara bengan ka bharta so i knew that when that girl got married i was invited and when i went there she left everything came running and put her hand on my mouth so i mean you don't call by that name before everybody anirvachaniya prema swarupam see love has no definition see when somebody hugs you it is love when somebody gives you a blow it's a love there is one girl in mumbai on her hand there is a mark of bite now she is married i said hey how come this mark has come on your hand she said ask my mother my mother is by mistake a human being she is wild <laughs> why when i was a child she used to come and bite me so to just protect my face i used to sit to bite here <laughs> Hey, regularly biting that mark has come over there. Anir vachaniya prema swarupam. See, therefore, when somebody is chanting the Lord's name, is love. When somebody is fighting with God, it is love. See, when somebody hates God, it is love. Kamsa was hating Krishna, is it not? how important it is therefore when love is an action it leads to detrimental effects when when love is an experience it evolves see same is with the knowledge in uh, gita 18th chapter bhagwan says brahma bhuta prasanna atma na shochati na kaankshati समहा सर्वेशु भूतेशु मन भक्ति लभते पराम सो ब्रह्म भूता है नॉलेज रिजल्ट इज मत पराम भक्ति लभते तो नॉलेज एंड डिवोशन दे आर वन एंड द सेम सी दी फ्रक्टिफिकेशन ऑफ नॉलेज इज एंड डिवोशन एंड द फ्रूट ऑफ डिवोशन इज नॉलेज they are not two they are one and the same and therefore if we are thinking that we are studying vedanta and therefore all the time ghatakash matakash phatakash then gone it must express as love and therefore you have studied for last 45 days 45 days congratulations you survived <laughs> see now when you go back home you will have more problems this i am telling you from upanishad one day narad ji was frustrated <coughs> and he was walking away he came across sanat kumar ji all the four brothers and they said narada what happened you are a devotee and all the time chanting the lord's name narayana narayana and why what happened to you your face is hanging like something bad has happened he said yes what happened i have not discovered joy as it he said have you not studied yes he enumerates 
I have studied sixty-four branches of knowledge. This, that, I have studied all that. Then, yet I am not at peace with myself. Then, what is the problem? He said the problem is earlier I was feeling bad because I had not studied. Now I am feeling bad that although I am studied, I am still miserable. <laughs> and not only that, when I was ignorant, people accepted me as miserable. Ignorant people are miserable. But now you have studied Vedanta and you are miserable. So when you go home, be careful. They will every now and then go to that Swami, go to that ashram, study Vedanta and become angry with the daughter-in-law, with the mother-in-law. Oh, 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 continue. When you study Vedanta, you lose your right to be miserable. If somebody is a devotee of Bhagavan Sri Krishna and constantly crying, will it match? See, Babaji also. We have got our lungi and shirt with the same cloth matching. See, his angavastra and same thing matching. Your clothes, they are matching. The devotee should be matching with the God. Bhagwan Krishna never cried in his life. See, friends. Therefore, this knowledge becomes a burden when we are a problem for others. <coughs> See, in most of the families we come across, elders are a big problem for the next generation. See? And their only complaint is, these days the youngsters don't respect the elders. Now tell me, I am also old, more than any one of you. Tell me, what is our contribution because of which we are grown up? What we have done? It is a poor earth, running around the sun, and our age is green. I do you know, elderly person, the what? <coughs> See, friends, whenever we demand respect in life, we don't command it. And such people, they are absolutely miserable with themselves, <coughs> and the misery comes in the form of complaints. So they have complained about everything in this world. You have heard this mantra which I played. We call it as a happy mantra mala. Living at zero complaint level. No complaint about anything. <clears throat> Therefore, how this knowledge that you have studied should express in your life. Many people have this understanding that Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi observed Maunam for 18 years. That is not true. He did not observe Maunam. He had nothing to talk. See? One of our Mahamantra is Dekho, Suno, Mad Bolo. See, hear, no comments. No comments. And how and when can it happen to us? <clears throat> when we look out, <clears throat> daytime, 12 o'clock, and it's so hot like here, open area, from a distance, <coughs> We see <clears throat> the mirage waters. After seeing the mirage waters, what is our reaction or interaction with the mirage water? Number one, do we like to collect something to show to somebody? See, I was coming, you know, I came across mirage water, this bottle is full of mirage waters. No, we don't. Number one. Number two, do we feel proud? 
Have you seen mirage waters? I have seen. No. Number three. Do we want to improve the mirage waters? See? Now what is the reason? The reason is only one. We have accepted the mirage waters as an illusion. When we look at this world as real, then all the problems of life begin. So when we see the mirage waters, we don't suffer, we don't desire, we don't want to change, but we enjoy. Hey, see how beautiful. See the truck is seeing reflected in the mirage water. We do talk, we enjoy, but we don't take it to be real, is it not? See, this is exactly what was the experience of Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi. Therefore, he has nothing to do, nowhere to go, our Vaha Mantra. See, how important it is. And therefore, he has nothing to talk. If we want to be and not become, being is our natural state, becoming is artificial. Be coming and be going. In being, there is no option. See? So, Bhagwan Ramar Marshi. In his Saddarshan. See? What is the experience of being Saddarshan? I don't know whether I send a book here or not. We have one book, uh, Knowing is Being, on the basis of Saddarshan only. So, Bhagwan Ramad Marshi was in this experience of just being. In becoming, there are efforts. Being is effortless. Man is pure existence. After marriage, he becomes husband. So, remaining as man is natural state. Getting married and becoming husband is unnatural. Whenever you are in unnatural condition, you cannot laugh. <laughs> that is the reason why the husbands are called as husband. Hus means smile. Band means stop. See? <clears throat> I was in US and one of the white person asked me this question. Uh, you uh, Hindu ladies, they have got a dot com on their forehead. What is the reason? <coughs> I say because your chance has gone. She is already booked. <laughs> she is married now. You can't have any option. Oh, so that is a sign of getting married? Yes. But uh, what about gents? They don't have anything. I say no need. From the face you can know he is married. <laughs> There is a blow, sorry, glow on his face. <laughs> See, friends. So, in being, no efforts. In becoming, all efforts. Now, see, those people, those uh, listeners, who are hard of hearing, after some time, they get tired. Because you have to put a lot of efforts. And when we put a lot of efforts, we get tired. And when we get tired, we cannot put more efforts. And then, why waste time in the satsanga? Therefore, they coolly switch off. Go to sleep. See? 
because they are tired. Those who are having natural hearing ability, they don't get tired. In other words, wherever efforts are involved, we are not normal. See? In Patanjali Yoga Darshan, <coughs> Bhagwan uh, Patanjali writes, what is asanam? Asana is sthira sukham asanam. The sthira is steady. He is not concerning about the posture, but the bliss. Effortless bliss is called as asana. After having defined it, acrobatics is not told by Patanjali. See, this is a yoga studio, they have these acrobatics. I am always thrilled to see the advertisement. Incredible India, one useless lady standing on one leg on the cliff and hands up there. If the winds come, she will fall down. <laughs> Incredible India, I don't know what is that. So, <clears throat> if we have to attain effortless bliss, what is this uh, practice? Two principles he tells. Prayatna Shaitilya. Lesser the efforts, natural you are. More the efforts, abnormal you are. See? So are we leading our life naturally? Or we have to put efforts all the time for everything? <clears throat> and our efforts are what? We want to prove <clears throat> something to somebody. <clears throat> Alas, we don't know what we want to prove and to whom. And who cares? <clears throat> and our whole life goes only in this struggle. And we want to prove something. We want to prove something. Just be yourself. Friends, the height of evolution is effortlessness. No efforts. Because we don't want to prove anything to anybody. Be yourself. This is what Bhagwan Ravan Marshi is. He did not struggle to prove anything to anybody. He was by himself. See? Therefore, spiritual life is not becoming extraordinary. But drop every extra, including fat. But I like fat people. Fat people are happy people. Have you seen any fat person miserable? Laughing Buddha. Can you imagine? Laughing Buddha is only bone and only all the cage of the thorax is seen. And he looks like a cartoon. <laughs> to laugh, you have to have fat. See, friends. Therefore, spiritual life is not becoming extraordinary, remain ordinary. And when we become extraordinary, we want to prove holier than thou. In Vrindavan it happened. And I enjoy, my life is only celebration, I don't calibrate. So, <clears throat> I was uh, having a cup of tea in the morning. It was cold, nice sun. So I was sitting in the sun and few commandalus were around. So, <clears throat> one lady came. Swamiji, what are you doing? I said, this is none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> she got frustrated. Mm. I said, okay, tell me, uh, how come you have come alone? What happened to your husband, your son, they have not come? Swamiji, what to tell you? I said, don't tell them. 
नो माय हजबंड इज एक्सट्रीम तमोगुणा सन माय सन इज एक्सट्रीम रजोगुणा दिस इज दीज आर कॉल्ड स्पिरिच्युअल एबिजेस तमोगुणा मीन्स बॅड रजगुणा मीन्स वर्स देन व्हॉट अबाउट यू अम्मा आय एम सत्वगुण अरे नो गुणा इज गुड आर बॅड ऑल आर रिक्वायर्ड बट दिस हॅज सम आव गॉन इन अवर हेड द तमोगुणा इज बॅड रजगुणा इज ओके सत्वगुणा इज बॅड सात्विक the other day where i was and the food that they gave me probably it was in uh, assam uh, yes it was in assam or somewhere i don't remember recently it happened so when uh, i was taking food no taste it was as if i am having all the diseases of the world <laughs> therefore they have given me the food which even the dead person cannot eat forget about me <laughs> so horrible food so but i am a swami i am supposed to be uh, very nice no okay we do drama we have to do you don't know how much we suffer happily <laughs> <laughs> so when i was taking food my friend said swami ji how do you like the food i said satvik <laughs> <laughs> satvik means no chili no achar no milch no masala no nothing only boiled food because swami ji is satvik so i was suffering satvikally <laughs> see friends don't become extraordinary remain ordinary in delhi Uh, i was taking food with somebody and one old lady she must have been hearing me on some media she came uh, with one uh, container and uh, told me hostile you know this relations the uh, like you know when i am staying with uh, vivek he is a host his wife is hostile <laughs> his children are hostilities <laughs> and i am hostage <laughs> so i was sitting with my uh, hostess and she was giving me food now this old lady came swami ji i brought something for you please take i said please give i will take it she opened it was pakoda made out of onion and my hostess became really hostile <laughs> no 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 don't give do you know mahatma don't eat um, onion you people don't understand she took it kept aside and i saw that old mother her eyes were in tears i said now i must play something then i said amma get me green chili and i knew they had no green chili in their house so she was busy <laughs> then i told this old lady i said mama give me pakoda before sri maharani comes let me eat <laughs> and i took quite a bunch of it and when i was eating she came and again became angry swami ji you are eating this thing yes what but mahatma don't eat it i said you are right but why do you call me mahatma <laughs> you label me mahatma and want me to behave as like you i am not a mahatma i am a chota atma is enough <laughs> don't become extraordinary in life see anything special we are divorced from the truth anything special colors yellow green white brown ochre special colors in the vision is it special when the vision see the yellow color will the vision say yellow yellow dirty fellow no without the vision can the extraordinary be established what is the truth behind something special 
is the non-specific existence. Therefore, give yourself zero choice. Lesser the choice we exercise, nearer we are to our Divine Self. <clears throat> we are carrying so much of burden of something special on us. I am man, I am woman, I am young, I am old. I am beautiful, I am awful. See? I am educated, uneducated. I am a Tamilian, I am a Gujarati. In addition to all these burdens, I am spiritual also. <laughs> Rama, Rama. <laughs> See, friends. Therefore, what should be understood as Bhagavan Raman's uh, spiritual practice. He gave up anything which was extraordinary. In Kathopanishad it comes, Indriye Bhya Parayartha Arte Bhyascha Paramanaha Manasastu Parabuddhi Buddhera Atma Mahan Paraha Mahataha Paramavyaktam Avyaktar Purusha Paraha Purushana Param Kinchit Sa Kashta Sa Paragati. This word para 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 has come eight times. Indre Bya Parayartha Arte Besha Param Manaha Manasa Para Buddhi Buddhi Ratma Mahan Paraha Mahata Param Avyaktam Avyaktar Purusha Paraha Purushana Param Kinchit Sa Kashta Sa Paragati. See? Eight times. Repeating the words is not considered as the right expressions. But when the Shruti Mata is expressing eight times, it, this is called technically the Abhyas. Why this is said? See? Indriya Vyaparayartha. All our faculties are expressions of the Tanmatra. See? Rupa Tanmatra. Tanmatra means that alone. Form. Rupa is form. It is not said round, square, tall, short. <coughs> Color. It is not said green, yellow, white. No. Color. Rasa Tanmatra, test. It is not said that it is bitter, sweet. No. None of them. See? So, we drop the different colors. Where we will end up? We will end up in the vision. When the differences in the colors do not disturb me, where I am sitting, I am sitting in the vision. When the words of praise or words of condemnation are planted on me, I don't get disturbed. Where I am sitting, I am sitting in the ears. Whether the, uh, the sense organs and organs of action, whether they are functioning or not functioning, it makes no difference to me. Where I am sitting, I am sitting in the mind. This journey from the manifest to the unmanifest. Is the journey like in your GPS we have got two points, point of origin and destination. So what is our point of origin in spiritual life? This world. Nama Rupatmakam Jagat. From there we start our journey. What is the destination? Asti Bhati Priya. Nama Rupa Iti Pancham Shakam. 
आद्यत्रयम ब्रह्म रूपम जगत रूपम तथोद्वयम वी गिव अप वेयर वी आर एंड रीच वॉट वी आर सी पेन वी रिसीव महात्मा वी चैंट ए मंत्र वॉट इज दैट मंत्र आई फॉर गॉट इन विच प्लेस Australia, probably Melbourne. There is one Tamilian, very nice person. He hardly talks anything, calm and quiet. And he teaches uh, Vedic chanting to the people. And whenever we go, he start chanting this mantra. Normally so sweet, but the moment he start chanting this mantra, I don't know what happens. Na karma na na praja ya na 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 tya hari ram. I don't know why their speech suddenly changes. Na karma na na prajaya dhane na tyange na ke amritatva na na sho. Na karma na tyange na ke amritatva ma na sho. See, Bhagwan Sri Krishna in Bhagavad Gita also says, "Sarva dharman." What is that? परत्यज मेक शरण व्रज अहम तापेभ्यो मोक्षा मा शुच वेन भगवान कृष्ण से समथिंग इट इज नॉट स्ट्रेट ई हिमसेल्फ इज क्रुकेट इज इट वन पर्सन आस्क विद दिस क्वेश्चन स्वामीजी भगवान राम इज सो नाइस स्ट्रेट अवे स्टैंडिंग यू नो Always ready for a family photograph. <laughs> have you seen family photograph of Bhagwan Krishna? Even if you have got one TV, it will not come in there. So huge. So you are all the time talking about Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Why Krishna is standing crooked, Tribhangi? In three places he is standing like this. Have you seen Krishna standing straight? Never. Why so? I said, "Why you worry? Ignore him. No, no. I want to know." Then I told him. I said, "Look here. If there is like this, uh, what you call post, it is straight. And in comparison to this straight, if there is little bit crookedness, this crookedness will look will look very conspicuous in comparison to the straight. But if there are two crooked." parallel lines it becomes a design is it not we are all crooked therefore bhagwan krishna is becoming crooked to match our crookedness and thus becomes the design of life your vision will change to bhain bhagwan says sarva dharman parityajya mamekam sharanam vraja find out what can you give up सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य सी वन पर्सन केम टू मी एनी से स्वामी जी आई एम फेड अप ऑफ माई वाइफ आई से टेल समथिंग डिफरेंट यार दिस ए रूटीन नो 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 आई डोंट नो वॉट टू डू आई से दैम ओवर सर थ्रो आर अवे नो आई कांट वाई शी अर्न आई ईट देन वॉट शुड बी डन आई सेड ओके आई विल हेल्प यू हाउ डेन आई विल डैम ओवर सर Now be attentive. Can I divorce somebody else's wife in the same manner? When Bhagwan says, "Sarva Dharman Parityaja," what is that which belongs to us? Tell me. So, Sarva Dharman Parityaja means come to know. See. भूमि रापो नलो वायु खम मनो बुद्धि रे वच अहंकार मे भिन्ना प्रकृति रष्टदा भगवान से दिस इज माय प्रकृति ई भगवान इज अवर फादर प्रकृति द वर्ल्ड इज अवर मदर सी इट कैन बी भोग इट कैन बी सेवा सी फ्रेंड्स देर फोर लाइक भगवान रमण महर्षि 
has given up everything means what? He was still continuing himself. But only difference was, he has never claimed that this is mine, this is not mine. When very body is not ours, it has come from the Prakriti, goes back to Prakriti. See? Those parents who become miserable because of their children, they should know this fact of life. Children are born through us. They are not born to us. One couple, four children. Elder one was contemplative, studious, sincere, simple, hard-working. Second student was a rogue politician. Third child was a terrible businessman. And fourth one was a government servant. Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra. And all four of them have come out of the same parents. Therefore, what we give to the children is only the body. The one who is living in their body is not the production of the parents. Like we have a property for investment. And in that property, we rent it out. Now when the tenant comes there, can you tell, no, no, you, you should get up early in the morning for your club and then you know to puja. You should not drink, you should not eat non-vegetarian. He said, forget about it, I'll do whatever I like. Exactly the same way. Don't get entangled in any relation. Bhagwan Ravan Maharshi had cleaned him, his life from two types of garbages. You know two types of garbages? Throughout India it has become very popular. I don't know here in Tamil Nadu. Uh, sukha kachra, gila kachra. Sukha kachra is dry garbage. Gila kachra is wet garbage. All the possessions are the dry garbage. All relations are the wet garbage. <laughs> garbage must be thrown. Don't collect. See? Then, with this understanding, then play the game of life. Playing the game of life is our first Maha Mantra. Life is a time pass. Don't play to win or get defeated. <coughs> I was invited somewhere for lunch or dinner. That is one of my professional hazards. So, when we went to their house, that lady told, Swamiji, it will take 15-20 minutes, please. I said, no problem. Without eating, I am not going to go. Don't worry. <laughs> that is the only thing I have really great attraction towards. If I can live without food and water, I will not talk anything. But for the papi pet, I had to talk. <laughs> There is no other reason. So, I said, don't worry. Then I took the newspaper wanted to read. So, they, they had a son, about five, six years, seven years. So, I mean, no newspaper. He said, all right, I have to take food. So, put, throw it. We will play carom. And that dumb game, I don't like at all. He was expert in that. I said, I don't know how to play the game, so I will not play. He said, no, no, I'll teach you. He must have been a Vedanti in the last life. <laughs> so, he put the carom board and put and then he started. He was expert taking one after another. Then it became a prestige issue for me. I said, okay, I'll teach you. And then I diverted his attention. Hey, whose picture is that? When he looks there, I take two, three of them, put it there. <laughs> I got simple rule in my life. Theft is a crime if you are caught. <laughs> if you are not caught, it is not a crime. But second or third time, I was caught. Then he started crying. Mommy, Swamiji is a cheat. I said, okay, Baba, now I will not do promise. Again, we started. 
and after some time his mother told so when the food is ready i said come on let's go now he said no now i am winning i had to complete the game you are defeated so be attentive for that child victory or defeat was an issue for me the game was a time pass till the food is ready <laughs> our life is a time pass till we die something we have to do is it not keep yourself occupied don't remain idle any time in any life keep occupied and one of the technique of keeping occupied is learn something learn learning is done by a child let the child in us not die what are the signs of old age now i am old what will i do learning then you die they don't die also learn something we must have to have some hobby that will keep the child in you alive see otherwise all the time when the children are playing in us it happened one nri old fellow went there to his son or daughter now the today children they are not born you know that children are downloaded <laughs> they are not born and then um, the downloaded um, child told his mother mummy what is my username and what is the password <laughs> so he was playing with his game digital game now this old fellow from india went who is the old person when the child is sitting where is it is stand up when the child is standing where is it standing sit down they have to tell something to somebody they cannot stop so this old fellow he told that child all the time sitting inside the house go and play outside he got up took his game sat there <laughs> <laughs> see friends learn something or the other in life your life will be extremely wonderful because the child in you is still alive and as much the children enjoy life we only is we don't we calculate they celebrate see when this will be the result of your 45 days of suffering here <laughs> suffering is i am talking in hindi in hindi suffer means a journey now you are uh, hearing in english what can i do <laughs> vedanta is the suffering in hindi and if you don't understand it in english now you decide <laughs> whether you are suffering in hindi or in english if you are suffering in english tathastu <laughs> nobody can help us therefore friends every moment we are here just celebrate life don't count see and then net result will be we will be at peace with ourselves all the time and at peace doesn't mean the mouth is swollen what happened maunam don't do that dumb thing it happened in uh, uh, haridwar i was going with my friend in a uh, this rickshaw man pulled rickshaw and uh, my friend said swami ji in this ashram there is a very big mahatma i said let's go and take darshan so when we went there the uh, the secretary of the mahatma told sorry mahatma ji is on my, uh, silence he doesn't talk to anybody he said all right don't scold we are going no problem when we are going uh, he came wait a minute what happened mahatma ji called you i said how can he call he is in my he is in maunam don't argue i said all right no argument <laughs> then i told my friend hey let's go together not he only you can go 
I said, enjoy, I am going for sacrifice. <laughs> and Mahatma was real Mahatma. You know Mahatma? Mahanasti Atma Udaram Yasya Mahatma. In a huge chair he was sitting like that. And I am a plastic brand. So like this a plastic chair was given. So I sat there. Now he took a paper, the copy he had, and he wrote, what is your name? So give it to me. So I wrote. Mm -hmm. Then he, okay. Uh, where do you stay? Second question. So I had to write Vrindavan. Third question. Where are you staying? Here in Haridwar. I wrote. This happened three times. I forgot that I can talk. <laughs> He was writing, I was replying in writing. And then at the third time I realized, and I laughed. Why I am not talking? And he also understood it. He also laughed. <laughs> Both of us laughed. Then I asked him a question. Sir, in Maunam laughing is allowed? <laughs> Friends, Bhagavad Gita. Mana prasada, saumyatvam, sthairi, maunam, atma vinigraha. Mauna is the discipline of mind, not that of the speech. Anudvega karam vakyam, satyam priya hitam chayat. The discipline of the speech is that anudvega karam vakyam, we talk in such a manner that we don't hurt others. See? Satyam, tell the truth, if necessary. More than what we should talk, we must know what we should not talk. See? Therefore, we have to recognize all these small little things. And the net result will be, we will be at peace with ourselves. And a person who is at peace with himself or herself, is at peace with the whole world. See? Last example I'll give you to make this point. On the railway platform, a man was standing with three kids, four or five bags, <laughs> and a wife engaged only on the stalls, books or eating something, all that. And this fellow with these uncontrolled children with the bags, and the train comes and he was searching his uh, um, compartment number. That time you go and ask him, hey, excuse me, what is the time? He will give you one. <laughs> because he is so much disturbed himself. Do you think he will talk normal to us? In the same manner, if we are not at peace with ourselves, we cannot be at peace with And how to remain at peace with oneself? Living at zero complaint level. See? This is the crux of all the teachings of all the great masters. And this we have put it in a language which can be understood by everybody. See? Many times we chant the mantras. Do we know the meaning? What is that? Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam Urvarukam Yavandhanat Mrityor Mukshiyam Amritat What do you understood? Hmm? Now this mantra. Listen sincerely, carefully. And you will get a solution to all the problems of your life. Give it a try. With this we will conclude.
ओं पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओ आई वॉज टोल टू स्पीक फॉर हाफ एन अवर बट वेन आई गॉट ए चांस टू टॉक वाई नॉट फायर I think I'll come down. Give me one chair. Come on, top and down. Give me a moment. 